Alright guys, so this is the second Dyson Sphere. And there are lots of rumors as to what this can be and what this can't be. And this number has been given EPIC 20427-8916. And what this is, ladies and gentlemen, is a big deal. It's showing more signs of life or um, light anomalies than the KIC one and lots of other things. And someone asked me what I thought this could be. And I said, well, planets have rings. Suns have rings in their early beginning, at least with clouds around them. And that we've known that they have comets still orbiting. Lots of other things. So if there was a way that the carbon could crystallize or in some other way harden to reflect light, almost like a ring we might actually see something that we haven't supposedly seen before. And this would be a natural formation. Now, I'm not going to go out on you know, the limb and say that this is not, you know, a foreign body somehow put there. That's fine. You can go with that if you want. I'm trying to figure out if there was a nearby... Uh, star system that had collapsed and somehow or another the sun could draw in the debris and everything and it was hot enough to crystallize the carbon it could had over centuries formed its own rings and everything else and that's what they're kind of coming up with the idea if this is non uh, technological is that like uh, Jupiter and others have rings of dust and various particles. Stars, for one reason or another, will have um, rings that will have um, solid particles that will somehow or another dim the sun. Now, it's obvious that not everything has been worked out. This is just an idea, and the idea can come, the idea can go. But it is an idea worth sharing that we already know younger stars can form clouds and they can do lots of different things. So why can't older star systems have their own clouds and their own things? So they're sitting here and they're talking about the EPIC 204278916, only 11 million years old and they're now talking about something that I was referring to called a protoplanetary disk around what everybody believes to be young stars and it would make sense and my theory is that this like the other Dyson uh, spear or supposed Dyson spear the KIC 84 whatever it was um, we'll actually have multiple areas where the refraction is different. It could even have materials that might actually reflect in different ways. Um, you know, where it might look like the sun is dimming to a point. Um, rings of cometary-like degree are not uncommon. But even KIC 8462852 uh, is much older than that. And so they have now two confirmed anomalies around stars. One very young, one probably moderately older. And they're running into the same issues. So this is a big deal. Uh, possible explanations. One could be swarms of comets around the star. Um, according to second theory, 8462852 spins so fast that it becomes oblate. See, I'm not really one to believe that the star spins because there is nothing in it to make it spin. That's not a conspiracy. It's nothing like that. I mean, 
we understand that it moves, but I'm just not comfortable saying that it's it's you know rotating at such a speed that you know light basically gets um, pulled in or refracted at such a point to where it goes dim at certain points. According to this, its radius is greater than the equator than it is at the poles. So as a result, the poles seem hotter and brighter than the equator, which appears to be darkened to the observer. So that is why this thing is supposedly um, giving off such an unusual uh, light pattern. That's a nice theory. I don't buy it. But Hey, these guys are, have the technology to do this. We're only the ones reading this. So I happen to believe that that ring around it is definitely more crystal than anything else. And that somehow or another it does refract the, uh, sorry about that. It does refract the sunlight to such a degree that it radiates, um, certain radio waves and stuff away from it. That is what I believe. Um, we see this every time um, in natural sciences. You know, concrete can reflect um, radio signals. Obviously not so much anymore, but back in the day, everything that was made was made, you know, with concrete or cement-type structure with various technology moving the... Uh, uh, light and all the signals away from you know the building or the room in question So with this I think it'd be similar effects of that it would just have large rocks similar to a uh, concrete or you know a situation like that where certain radio waves whether it be laser guided whether it be EMF whether it be any number of other things you know bounce back different ways and yes, I do believe that it is smaller in one area and larger in another. That's obviously true at some point or another. But this one's pulling out all the stops, and it'll definitely be a fun ride to see what comes to fruition. Thank you.